Miami is a city with a great tradition, a well-crafted building. And one of the privileges of the building in Miami is to be part of that tradition. But one thing is for sure, it's a very passionating project. The place is fantastic, the community is great, the job is great. I think North Beach has a huge opportunity. Having 500 feet along this 35-acre park and having 300 feet along the Atlantic Ocean, for us it was an amazing opportunity and I think it was something we could never pass up. I was there a few months ago. I was sitting on the beach. When you sit on the beach, you're in the middle of nowhere. You're in the middle of Miami, but you feel like it, on a little island, lost. <laughs> it's fantastic. This building is basically made out of 16 decks flying one above the other. And of course, those uh, suspended decks catch the sound of the ocean. They also catch the light of the ocean, of course. This is the beautiful thing. Our partner in this project is uh, Davide Bizzi, he's a good friend, and uh, Davide wanted me to meet Renzo. So uh, I took advantage of the time and we flew to Genoa. And I was able to meet Davide and uh, Renzo. I have to thank Davide for the introduction because Renzo is someone, obviously a master in the world, someone that's done amazing structures, but is also very sensitive to the environment, to nature, and also to do something that was gonna be appropriate, the right scale, the right density. You have both dimensions. You have the dimension of nature, you have calling avenue, you have street, you have activity, and in between, you have a park. And we are flying above that park. We love bringing architects from all over the world to come to Miami. You know, our job is to give them kind of the roots. Today, it's all about design, differentiating yourself from all the other buildings, but the team that's been put together uh, by uh, Bitsy and David Martin, uh, on the design side is a world-class team, uh, number one in every category. The project uh, is a very uh, beautiful project because it is a building surrounded by green. At the southern part there is a, a larger park. People walk in the garden, there's a path system. So it has a sort of orchard, pure nature potential as well. West State and Renzo created this private park which is around an acre and a half to the north of the building. So in essence, you have a private park to the north and a public park to the south. So for me, how this uh, forest from public to private and how it's connected through the lobby of the building is something very special that I think is unique in Miami. I believe when you combine great architecture with astonishing landscape design, the achievements are unique. Sometimes, it's not always the case, but a good design is an almost no design. Here, the context was really the center point. What we try to do is to go to the essential. You are part of the landscape. How can we be more and more in relation with the outside? The materiality of the project was inspired by elements we find locally, simply designed, looking for almost kind of purity. Craftsmanship is one of the essential quality of architecture. Because you know, the quality of architecture, of course, is about poetry, is about the beauty, but it's also about construction. A good building is also well done. So we want to go back to this old tradition to make building in a, in a very detailed way. The language we want to use, the language of, of lightness, the sense of a lack of gravity in some way. I know that it's been mad. But fighting against gravity is mad. But it's quite interesting because it gives you something that has a kind of a poetic presence. It's not arrogant, it's not possessive, it's not selfish. It's something that is more open. We tend to know where people walk because we work with buyers all the time. And we're building a project where we know that is going to sell very well because we're building something that people want to live in. I don't think I've ever seen a building that had terraces as a proportion to the building as large. The living space in this building is a combination of interior space and exterior space. And the way we've done it is the outside becomes part of the inside, it becomes one. So I think that everyone is uh, going to be very impressed uh, with what we've accomplished. Miami right now is going through a cultural kind of renaissance. 
And for us, Renzo was someone that we felt was going to be able to add a lot of value to this property. It's really the last piece of Miami Beach that really is going to now have some new life and new energy. What he created here was something that I think is going to be a landmark and really give a lot of dignity and pride to the community. Thank you.